Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what I wanted to do is quickly highlight something I saw when I was scrolling through Twitter, and that is that Manjaro, their KDE Plasma version or edition, is coming out with new theming. Currently, this is available to us in a developer release. It's a unstable developer release, but it will be coming as the official KDE Plasma theming very soon. So, Without wasting too much time, let's go ahead and jump into this and check out some of the changes. And the first and most obvious thing is this beautiful wallpaper. If you've seen any of the other uh, wallpapers I've used in the past, this is very similar. It's got the big mountain in the background, some nature going on. I usually use the uh, gray Nordic wallpaper, but I mean, this is beautiful. It's got those green and blue tones. It's really uh, manjaro -inized. Um, if we go over here and go to our settings, so settings, system settings, a big thing that we're going to notice out of the gate is right here. This quick settings page has gotten a lot of additions. One, we could select light and dark themes here. You have your animation speed and a couple other settings here. But what we're going to really pay attention to is this light and dark theme. Currently, none of them are selected because the default is kind of a mix between the two. So let's go ahead and check all that out by going to show more appearance settings. And then here we go. Basically anything that has a 2021 added to it is new. The uh, breath two right here. This is the normal default theme you'd expect. So if I apply that, this is default Manjaro with that background. And if I go ahead and apply this, this is their new color scheming. Now out of the gate, you're probably not really noticing too much differences. If I go over to application style, we're using breeze. If I go over to plasma style, we can see we're using this 2021 dark, but it, they, they still look pretty similar. There are some changes, nothing I can really notice out of the gate, but where the big major changes are is here under colors. You can see that they've added quite a few of different color schemes to go ahead and choose from. And a lot of these look really good, especially matching that kind of green Manjaro scheme they have going on. So for example, this is one I really like, uh, right? Where did it go? The one I was playing with earlier. Well, you guys don't know, you weren't watching. Uh, the high contrast ones actually look pretty good for a high contrast theme. You can see it adds that darker green up top with the dark. If I go ahead and open up my files, you can see what that looks like right there. Got that lighter green really highlighting my current active directory. Overall, it looks beautiful. Uh, you have the uh, 2021 C dark for breath two, so you could go ahead and apply that. It tones it down quite a little bit compared to the high contrast. One I really like is this breath two dark neutral. So if I go ahead and apply that, you can kind of see what that looks like. It lightens it up a little bit and the kind of bluish green that they went with for the uh, highlighting and everything like that looks absolutely beautiful. If we go to this 2021 C dark and apply that, can see it darkens up the back and then the green accents around what we have selected is looking really good and there really is a lot more if i go over here up to some of these lighter ones we could select those i'm not really a fan of light themes but you can see it has those green accents that has the gray uh, top title bars and all that if i open this up you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like with the green accents the green borders around if i highlight this you can see even those bars turn green Overall, the uh, color schemings that they have going on are absolutely beautiful. Uh, there hasn't been really any other changes. Going down here, we have the breeze, uh, fonts, no changes, icons, no changes, uh, splash screen. It's just using breath too, but it uses this uh, new wallpaper that we went ahead and took a look at. So that's really it for this video. I just wanted to quickly highlight some of these new themes or the new theming and color schemes that's coming in uh, the coming well the versions of manjaro that are soon to come anytime manjaro comes out with something new like this i always kind of jump on it because i'm definitely a fan of manjaro and all the projects that team works on and this is something that's not super major but it's still pretty cool to check out uh, if you're somebody who's new to linux and are looking to get into an arch based linux distribution i definitely would recommend manjaro but that brings us to the end of the video i would highly or I would really like to give thanks to the YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have two producer level supporters, Mitchell Valentino and Phil Mack. Thank you guys so much. And thank you to all the other techies that are supporting the channel. 
If you'd like to support me here on YouTube, you can hit the join button right down below. It's not too expensive and you get emojis and little badges and some other cool things. But if you prefer Patreon as your platform of choice, you could go ahead and support me over there. With all that said, there will be a link in the description to go ahead and get this. Again, this is a developer kind of preview, so I would recommend uh, playing around with this in VirtualBox and not yet installing it on your machine. Uh, with all that said, have a beautiful day and goodbye.